Blog Show. Blog Show. Welcome to the Blog Show. I'm Jamie Mottram. This is Dan Steinberg, and it's March. So you're cordially invited to the big dance. That's right, Jamie. This time of year, a lot of sports writers like to rely on dance terminology. You know, who's going to wear Cinderella's slippers? Who's got their dancing shoes on? Will Virginia Tech do the hokey pokey? Well, I'm here to tell you that people were literally actually dancing in the past week, including Digger Phelps, the ESPN analyst who was at Kansas, Kansas State, and decided to get a little freaky with some cheerleaders. Yeah, they were dancing to a Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer. I don't know if the hip bumps qualify as freaky, but Digger had some moves, and we saw this one on thebiglead.com. He was grinding a little bit. It looked like he wanted to get on her bubble. Nice one. That's not bad. I'll ding that as well. Moving from uh, uh, Digger Phelps dancing to Jerry Jones dancing at Six Flags with Steve Urkel or a Steve Urkel impersonator. I'm not sure. And I still think that that maybe was like a Jerry Jones impersonator or possibly even a Jerry Jones wax statue because... It's hard to tell in any situation with Jones. Yeah, and nice to see the NFC East rivals kind of cooperating. Jerry Jones at a Daniel Snyder owned operation. Yeah, I wonder what the Danny thinks about that. He was just, I saw that photo on Shut Down Corner. Great NFL blog, if I do say so myself. Elsewhere in the world of dance and sports uh -huh. and blogging, via nationalspride.com, it's Ronnie Beller, Belliard during BP dancing to LL Cool J. And that was the Nationals' middle infielder kind of awkwardly working his way through Mama Said Knock You Out, which I think Elijah Dukes actually thought was a poor choice of song. <laughs> Very nice. But, but I guess, I mean, I guess Belliard looked like, to me, he looked like kind of the drunk uncle at a wedding, but he wasn't the only one kind of looking awkward on some kind of a dance floor because the Duke Blue Devil mascot took a bit of a tumble. Yeah, he was trying to dance across a surfboard that was laying across some dorks from Duke and <laughs> tried to dismount, unfortunately right. for him, That's twisted right. a knee or, or some That's unfortunate right. instant. And I think that Dr. James Andrews was going to do some kind of ligament replacement surgery for the Blue Devil writhing in agony. Yes. So. <laughs> Noted sports orthopedic surgeon James okay. Andrews saw that one on awfulannouncing.com, and you know sometimes the mascots take to the trampolines for some for some dunks. Yes. Uh, this time it wasn't a mascot, but it was a, some type of hardwood entertainer trying to do a full frontal double flip. A double flip did he not got end well. Maybe one and a half times around. The second flip was a poor choice. Yeah. We've seen some bad dunks. We've shown some bad dunks on this show, and that one's right up there. Yeah. Well, it looked like it was painful, but. Who knows whether he got up or not, because the video kind of ends. <laughs> it looked like perhaps he had a little too much to eat <laughs> that day to complete the double flip. Uh, one place where you're going to be overserved, not alcohol, food I'm talking about, is the Cheesecake Factory. That's which, right. Coincidentally, is a, is a favored place for NBA players. That's right. This, was, this is a True Hoop post that is that has kind of collected a whole bunch of stories of NBA players <laughs> who love to eat at the Cheesecake Factory. And there's a huge list of them. Andre Iguodala. Um, Give me some more. <laughs> Gilbert Arenas, on, right? Deshaun Stevenson, all these guys love to eat at the Cheesecake Factory, presumably because of the big portions. Yeah, you said Deshaun actually told, he told you that a cheesecake He told me that the cheesecake, waiter, you know, he, right? he used to wave his hand in front of his, his yeah, face, he, then he sort of stopped for a while. Started and, feeling it, And yeah. a cheesecake waiter told him he's got to get back to doing that. Well, elsewhere on the Wizards tip, uh, Alexei Petrov, Wizards rookie, Ukrainian seven-footer, got dunked on post-rise by Andre Nocioni for the Chicago Bulls. And I guess the Chicago media outlet took it one step further. Well, the Chicago media outlet earlier in the year had sort of said, you know, this guy looks a little bit like Stewie from the Family Guy. Which he does. Some guys on the Wizards really appreciated that. They sort of call him Stewie, and now they've done this to his face. It's kind of <laughs> sad to see. Well, it's the, the resemblance is, is striking. Uh -huh. uh, elsewhere in the NBA, over the uh, All-Star weekend, you may have missed that Dwayne Wade uh, embarrassed himself during the so-called Skills Challenge. Uh, well, some genius out there mashed that up with a scene from Blue Chips. Take a look. It's the worst case of all hanging out seen in the two years I've been here. That was a spot, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. Bang him from right there. Yeah. Must have been heavy action in Vegas. Somebody got rich. You know what kind of shot's that? What kind of shot? Hell, they don't see us. There's nobody there. Saw that mashup on Bald Don't Lie. Good to see Blue Chips again. One of the finest works of Shaquille O'Neal and Anthony Hardaway. I've actually never seen Blue Chips, but I will say that I think when Shaq and Dwayne Wade were in Miami together, Shaq must have taught him a little bit about going through the motions. You understand what I mean? No. Speaking of, you don't understand. Speaking mm -hmm. of going through the motions, some Iowa, some ex-Iowa football players, I should say, had posted some kind of interesting pictures on Facebook over the years, and some more more cropped up this week via. Um, Hawk, Hawk Mania. Hawk Mania. And I don't understand. They're, they're kind of eating eating the cash. Is that? <laughs> they're eating stacks full of cash. And they're no longer on the team. Right. Don't know that that's related to this story or not. Right. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's you know, how there's I always, treat all these rules about football coaches unable to buy, like, a mere hamburger for their players. Now they have to resort to eating giant stacks of cash. It's 
sad. <laughs> it's odd behavior. Really? Yeah. And elsewhere, an odd imagery from the world of sports. Here's a Zamboni last week in Pittsburgh with it looked to be leaking blood. <laughs> apparently, it was a transmission uh, issue. It yeah, flew I thought that maybe ice. it ran over like a badger got caught underneath. But. And I like the uh, Deadspin.com headline: There will be transmission fluid. <laughs> That's right. Well, speaking of, of blood, I suppose I almost got in a bit of a scuffle myself in, yeah. in the past week. It's a I kind blood of blood battle. You guys are Washington Post brothers. I feel a little bit reluctant talking about this. Do you want to? Well, yeah, I guess Tony Kornheiser uh, took exception to a blogger. Uh, Tony Kornheiser had some, had some strong words for a blogger who was actually intended for DCRTV, a, a local radio and TV blog. They write about Comcast Sportsnet quite frequently. Right. He had some strong words to say, Tony did, and, and then I sort of said, I tried to defend the honor of bloggers everywhere, and, and those guys came back at me, Tony and his yeah. friend. And this is where it got heated. Take a look. I will just say this, Cheese Boy, if I'm coming after you, I'm going to just come and beat your ass. Now. Oh, yes. see, uh, Good. Why do we gotta be that? All right. right. That was, uh, see, right. you like that? that? You like right. that? Was good. So I'm gonna go no. south side on you, cheese boy. I'm gonna come and beat you down, and then we can be done. So I'm gonna have to blog. I want to write about you. No, 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 I want no, to talk about you. No, Just a no, beat no, down. No. That was good. You can take that out. And I felt a little bit kind of overwhelmed there with two guys sort of picking on me. But then I realized I sort of have a partner of my own. Yeah. You think, Jamie, you could maybe take care of Kornheiser if I went after Wilbon? Yeah, we'd be the best tag team duo since the Bushwhackers. Awesome. No doubt. And I think a lot of that anger from Wilbon may have been due to the fact that we're, we're competing with PTI here, with Blog Show. Yeah. You know, I think Blog Show perhaps greater than Viewership. that program. Sort of similar. Yeah, in terms of if you want to look at some empirical data. Yeah, yeah certainly Blog Show greater than PTI. Anyways, but if you who stepped in the ring toe to toe what would that look like thankfully the dude at 289 design has photoshopped that together and it's yeah. not even just you and Wilbon in the ring if you see there's my brother as the referee that's on right. the ring apron stalking the two of you that's right and I do have cheese on my shorts which I appreciate it anyhow that brings yeah, us to the end boy. of blog show hopefully I will be here next week as long as no one goes south side on me and we will show you another YouTube of the week next week what's this week this week's YouTube of the week comes from an employee of Sporting News who posted this tribute to the Charlotte Bobcats on SportingNews.com everything stops when the Bobcats play jump in the air when jail rocks the rack lose my voice screaming let's go cats high five my buddies when felt them pop a tray nothing else matters when the bobcats play i don't care if you don't understand i'm never giving up being a bobcats fan blog show was brought to you by the good people at senate insurance kiss my bumper just kiss it <laughs>